Hey everyone, Joel Peter here. Today we're going to be taking a look at Cyberpunk 2077 and NVIDIA's optimized settings. Uh, so NVIDIA likes to optimize games uh, in GeForce Experience. So we're going to go ahead and see what it recommends. So first off, we'll go ahead and get Rivatuner booted up, but we'll go ahead and just hit optimize and see what it does. We'll hit play. So we have it running from GeForce Experience. You can see um, we are currently running through OBS. So I mean, keep that in mind. Performance is dropping, but oh my, it actually doesn't look that bad. And realistically, this is playable. So this is what happens when NVIDIA optimize your settings uh, to suit what they have. So let's go ahead and actually see what they offered. All this stuff off, medium, 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 low. Okay, that seems about right. So it doesn't seem that bad. Ideally, I still say you should run this at high to medium. This is definitely playable. Yeah, it's, it's running, running really, really well. It definitely feels more, feels better. And realistically, as I've played this game, you know, I've basically managed to enjoy myself a lot more um, as I continue going through the story. Realistically, graphically, it, it looks very, very aesthetically pleasing, even at the highest settings, but even the lowest settings aren't even that bad, realistically. They don't look amazing on PC. And when you're outside of the city in less crowded areas, performance is definitely a lot better. My advice for you is 100% just enjoy your experience, have a good time playing it. But realistically, if you're just playing this, you know, uh, just enjoying it without you know, adjusting settings and you're not making videos about it, same thing I talked about in my previous video about optimal settings with kind of what I said. Um, maybe try GeForce Experience and see if you get a little bit better frame rate. It's going to lower things, but it makes it more of a fun, playable experience. And so that's that's my advice. Again, same thing I said before. Um, you know, enjoy, enjoy your game. Have fun with it. But don't care too much about the frame rate counter. Um, it detracts from the experience when you have lower end hardware. Realistically, shouldn't have a frame rate counter on in one of these games once you have all your settings dialed in. And I know most people don't even leave them on. They do it to benchmark. But, you know, you're doing yourself an absolute disservice if you leave it on. Um, it's going to frustrate you because <laughs> you'll just tinker and tinker and tinker and not really enjoy the experience. Realistically, this game is, I feel like, is going to look better the more time that passes. And, and I feel like there's going to be a lot of, there's already mods for this, but there's going to be even more mods. And then with the DLC that they're going to work on, you know, CD Projekt Red have an excellent game on their hands. And for sure, they, it's starting to show its age a little bit in the sense of the engine, comparatively to The Witcher, but it doesn't look that bad. I did that intentionally. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.